So we're gonna do some canon today. I'm new at this. If I can do it, you can do it. Just remember that. Um, so I've got some supplies sit down here. I've got jars that I plan to fill. I'm gonna fill all these jars today. I've got some garlic. I got a bell pepper that was grown in the garden. I've got some banana peppers, some jalapenos, some onions, and a bunch of cucumbers. Salt, sugar, this is sugar, and this is the salt. I've got apple cider vinegar and white vinegar. Then I have all kinds of different spices that we're gonna add to make our brine. I have bowls to put my sliced cucumbers. I have a slicer. Don't know where the other part is, so we're gonna be extra careful, make sure we don't cut ourselves with it. And then over here, I have my uh, canner. It's a boil canner. There's a rack inside of it. Do not trust it. So this thing comes up and it connects to the sides when it has hot water in there for you to set your jars on. And uh, first day of using it, I set a jar down, set another jar down, and it just went poof and inside. So don't trust the wire deal. Just don't do it. Then I have a, a pot to put my brine in so I can boil it. Then I'm going to also have another small pot to put my uh, to boil up some water to put my lids in. I'm going to get to washing these cucumbers. So we are going to slice some of these cucumbers so that we will have cucumber slices. Be very careful. would be prettier with colors, but I don't have any. This is what I got, so that's what we're using. So I have my two bowl, my bowls of uh, cucumbers. I've got banana peppers and bell pepper in here and onions. And I'm going to add canning salt to it. I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this cup, two thirds cup measuring thing and I'm going to probably almost fill it. And just shake it over top. And then I'm going to use my hands to, to mix it up. And then we're going to put it in the refrigerator for two to four hours. I'll probably just do two, but... You never know, I might get busy and end up doing something else. <laughs> so, we added our salt. And we just want to give it a kind of a toss to make sure the salt gets to the cucumbers in the bottom. Make sure you catch your cucumbers when they fall. And that one's ready for the refrigerator. And that one is ready for the refrigerator. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two different brines. One's for the soaked pickles and then we're gonna do some cold pack pickles uh, in a dill. So first we're gonna do the sweet bread and butter pickles brine in this pot. Three cups of regular white distilled and then we're gonna need one cup of apple cider vinegar Let's set that aside. 
side. I'm going to explain that here in a minute. All right. And then we need two tablespoons of mustard seed. One. Two. One teaspoon of celery seed. I just do round it, it says a teaspoon, so I usually just round it off and then put a little extra of peppercorns. This is just whole black peppercorns. And the same thing goes for the whole cloves. And we need a tablespoon of turmeric. They say that's just mainly for flavor. So, and then we're going to add garlic. So, they say about three cloves. I would do about two tablespoons rounded. Teaspoons. Teaspoons, yeah. I put alum in my recipes um, for make them crunchy because my grandmother is an old lady and she said that's what you use. Love her, but that's what she said. She just said you use a tablespoon, which is three teaspoons, and a tablespoon won't fit in my jar, so I'm using a teaspoon to get it out. I think it calls for three cups. Yep, yeah, it says three to four cups of sugar. So and this is a third of a cup. Three, three cups. It says four. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with one and a half more and that is our brine for our sweet pickles until we're ready we're going to go ahead and mix up our brine for our uh our dill pickles which is a cup of apple cider vinegar vinegar and a cup of water three tablespoons of salt and we're gonna put four cloves of garlic so some dill seed uh, okay so this is just a regular batch so we're only gonna put one and a half tablespoons in the pan of the kosher salt when I did it yesterday I did a double batch okay so we're gonna get ready the three jars for the um, dill pickles and we're going to cut off the ends and peel our garlic. We're putting four cloves in each one. I like to smash the garlic or slice it. It's up to you. you don't have to be perfect. And we put two teaspoons of dill seed and in each jar. One, two. Okay, so I got my jars with the garlic, the dill in them. Then we're going to take our cucumbers, cut off the end. Trying to determine if I want to do a dill. We're just going to stick with slices because I know I'm good at that. <laughs> and just stuff your jars with your cucumbers. And make sure you get them tightly packed so you get more in your jar. And here's our cucumbers that we, we soaked in salt. And I rinsed them thoroughly. We're gonna just pack them in the jars. So we've got our water bath uh, heating up. Got our water for our lids heating up. We have our bread and butter brine 
uh, getting hot, you got to bring it to a boil and then shut it off. That way it marinates all those flavors. So, and then here's your dill pickle brine. All you have to do is bring it up to dissolve the salt. And I put a little bit of turmeric in there just for color. So my dill pickle brine got done first. So I moved those three jars right here in front so that we can get them done. And we're gonna ladle in the dill pickle brine. So we got our dill pickles, we cleaned our rims, we debubbled, and we put the lids on. I'm getting ready to do the bread and butter pickles. All I'm gonna do is ladle in. Don't burn yourself. I'm mainly talking about me. I don't use that thing because I've dropped a jar in there the other day and it was very catastrophic. So there's our jars. They are boiling. They have five minutes left. You boil them for 10, pull it off, let it sit for five, and repeat the process for the rest of the jars that you currently have, which I have five more. There's six in there. Then I'm gonna set them in this to cool. So we pulled it off of the hot burner and we got it over to the side. And uh, we're gonna let it rest for five minutes. That's what I have left. And then after that five minutes, I will take the tongs and I will pull them out and set them on the counter. And there's our finished product. We have 11 jars that's been processed.